everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to measure the in-room response of the ScanSpeak 4-ohm tweeter and over here the Wilson 8-ohm tweeter diaphragm. So we're doing some in-house or some in-room measurements of that. Um, I'm here with uh, John DeSensi from OAD Ultra Fidelity. Say hello, John. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to hand you over to John. John's going to explain to you what we've done in the room here just before off camera so that you can understand exactly what we've measured and uh, and the and what John's found. So I'll let Don have a chat. Let John have a chat to you now. Right. So what we've got here is a tripod setup. We're aiming uh, the microphone, which is a high res 24 bit 192K aimed on axis with the tweeter, so we can actually measure predominantly what the tweeter response is. Um, and we're just measuring like an SPL. And we're doing that with the left and right channels so that we can kind of compare the differences. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll zoom around here and so that people can see, see, the, microphone see, setup. see the microphone set up and, uh, and, and where we're aiming at the tweeter. So we've essentially, what we've done is we've measured uh, the distance away from the tweeter with the microphone and we've replicated that on the, uh, so this is the 4-ohm scan speak side, the right speaker, and the other one over there is the, um, is the Wilson tweeter, which is intact, nothing's changed at this point. Okay, so I'll flip the microphone around and then I'll let John... run another scan? Um, and all right, well, we can run a scan even, and we'll do that on camera so that you can actually literally see what we're doing with the uh, and how we've measured it. Uh, I probably should add we're, we're using the free um, uh, Room EQ um, software, which is available freely online, um, to do our tests, which is um, like an industry standard program these days. Brilliant. Okay. okay. Well, let's, let's uh, turn the camera around, and then we'll let John uh, do a sweep for you. So we'll just, well actually, before we start, um, we've already done a scan here. So this is actually the, uh, the ScanSpeak 4-ohm um, uh, replacement diaphragm scan, and you can see the response here of the tweeter. Uh, we don't know quite where the crossover frequency is. Um, unfortunately, Wilson don't publish those particular specifications. Um, and if we pop down to an earlier scan that we did with the the left channel, which is the original Wilson Audio ScanSpeak um, tweeter, um, you can see that um, there's not a great deal of difference. The, um, the, the replacement diaphragm does have these other spikes down here, but that's more to do with in-room uh, reflections, so you'll just need to ignore that. But for the, for the most part, um, the waveform, if I can just find the mouse, the waveform along here is pretty much identical uh, for both left and right channels. Um, so we'll just do another sweep um, and we'll just click start. And hey presto, we don't have those um, room reflections at the moment, probably because one of us is standing in the in the right place. <laughs> yeah, true. And again, um, if we compare uh, the new scan with wow, that almost looks identical. That almost identical, um, which is quite surprising considering that they're completely different impedances. Um, so, so, so that green, the green one for everybody is the is the four ohm scan speak uh, diaphragm. And then if John overlays the or brings in the that, that so that colour there is the original Wilson eight ohm uh, in room response. Look how close they are! Holy moly! So that is that is pretty pretty amazing that we actually have um, we have a, an in room response that is literally identical. Now, what we were thinking we may have to do here is obviously offer up different resistors in the back of the Wilson speaker to co to uh, compensate any differences that we might have found between the the left hand channel, which is the Wilson uh, tweeter, and the right ohm, the right side channel here, which is the ScanSpeak four ohm. And as it turns out, uh, the differences are so minute that we really don't even need to change any resistor values. We just will not hear 
the differences that 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 are the, the very very minor differences that we actually are measuring in the room here. Yeah, well, actually, in fact, um, we're measuring a maximum of about 0.4 of a dB difference, which could be and most probably is just um, a millimeter or two out with the microphone um, sort of set up. Um, that's the sort of differences that you can kind of find. So, um, you know, for all intents and purposes, both tweeters seem to be working pretty much at the identical um, sensitivity or sound pressure level, which is exactly what we want. Brilliant. So uh, that is quite amazing, actually, for us to have been able to to uh, to see that, to to measure that in the room. <coughs> and see that we essentially have very minimal to probably no difference, which in fact would probably stand a reason given this is a scan speak diaphragm that we are replacing with a scan speak diaphragm that just has a different voice coil winding to eight ohms as opposed to four. The, the, the interesting thing here is that there is a, the differences between the two has even surprised John, certainly surprised me, that the difference in room measurement is next to nothing brilliant all right well we'll we'll wrap this this part of it up here and uh we'll move on to uh the next video so stay tuned for that bye for now